What's going on YouTube? Yeah, I just poured out a bunch of baits out on the table, but uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about all of those right now. So, some new things from Sixth Sense Fishing, the crappie line, uh, which I'm not even gonna really use for crappie. I'm gonna use it for uh, other things, but we got the Pluck hair jigs. You get three in a pack, five bucks. I got the one sixteenth. I figured smaller the better for what I wanted to use them for. And I got several packs of the uh, Picos, Picos probably, underspin, got a nice little small underspin there with a jig and then all of these, you get five of these swim baits on the back, again five dollars I'm pretty sure, and then this bangle tinsel jigs, so you get a three pack of those, I got one sixteenth, again I got the smallest size as I could because of what I want to do, and uh, yeah, the, this bangle. First, let's check out uh, the Pluck hair jigs. So these are the Pluck hair jigs. These are actually uh, feather jigs. And uh, yeah, it's just got some hackle on here, pink and white. It's called Gum Minnow. This is the color, and you got a silver jig head here. Kind of looks like a really micro-sized Divine Swim Bait jig head, which is kind of cool. Honestly, I probably, no, I can actually guarantee that I would tie these a lot better myself. Um, so, oh, you got a little bit of, a little bit of tinsel in there. So that's nice, but yeah, I definitely personally would do a better job with the tying and the, the feathers, but uh, you know, it doesn't matter they're still gonna catch fish and they're gonna do the job for what I want them to do. All right, now to the, um, let's see, the, the Spangle. The Spangle Tinsel Jigs. Yeah, I would say that's a lot of tinsel. We got some ice colored tinsel. Basically, that would be clear tinsel with some pearlescence and then some chartreuse tinsel in there. And then it looks like there is some pink ice chenille on there, which, this jig, if they just sold the jig heads, would be super easy to make. It's only two materials. You got the tinsel, obviously, and then some ice chenille on there, just wrapped. And that would be super, e super easy. Not two materials, so like, I guess three materials if you're counting your, uh, your tying line. But yeah. These are actually like pretty great. They feel great. They don't feel like they're gonna fall apart on you. And I think they're gonna be very, very nice. And we have here the Pico Underspin. It's got a very nice underspin blade here. Very small, smaller than my fingernails. Nice small swivel. The jig head is super nice, super detailed, I like it. And especially the paint, I got everything that's pink. Pink really works well up here for trout and whatever else, especially in the river. And then these baits are pretty good. They're pretty stretchy, not super stretchy, but look at that. Decently stretchy, so that should last quite a while, especially if you were using these for crappie fishing. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. This and the other baits I'm gonna use for trout fishing actually so i'm gonna go to the river i'm gonna put this stuff on my ultralight i got all the smallest size i could that they offer for all of these and um, i'm gonna fish for uh rainbows and brown trout and then those occasional smallmouth will eat this too so that'll be fun on the ultralight and uh get the get the, those kind of fights but i think the trout are gonna love these baits and then especially when it comes to the pluck and the spangle, uh, these two are so much like flies. Um, I'm going to be fishing these on my fly rod too, I believe. And uh, yeah, if they ever just sell the jig heads, I'll tie up my own. Because those materials are super easy. Like this one is literally just hackle and some thread in the jig head. And this is just that uh, uh, ice chenille and some tinsel and some thread so and the jig head these would be super easy to make at home if they just sold the jig heads and uh, yeah maybe one day we'll see but I'm super excited these on the fly rod would be so much fun but there you have it the new crappie 
line from six inch fishing if you guys like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you want to see more videos like this fishing videos how to reviews all that kind of start sort of stuff leave a comment tell me what you liked and what you didn't like about all this and then as always fish till you drop